Hi everybody, it's Mark from Donnay Mott Leisure Kingdom. Thank you for joining me here today here at the showground at Donnay Mott Leisure in Hilton. So today we have for you a Auto Trail V-Line 635 Sport. Forgive me for not standing directly in front of the camera, but the sun's shining right in my face and I can't see Wendy. She's on the one holding the camera. <laughs> so it's a really nice vehicle. It's on the nine speed Fiat automatic gearbox and it's a 2.3 140 horsepower. You can see already from the outside, it's finishing this really nice sort of metallic gold color. Um, it's a 2021 reg with just under 7,500 miles. You've got these protective uh, mirror covers, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Really nice black and chrome finished alloy wheels. Working down this side, we've got new electric hookup point just there. That one, if we can get it open, is your external shower point, toilet cassette, fridge vents, and then just at the bottom there, you can see you've got your drain off points for the clean water tank and waste water tank. Nice big windows, so this one being the sport is an end lounge. Lots and lots of boot space and lots and lots of storage space. And when you do open the storage space to the rear, you've got just over there an external barbecue point so underneath there you've got an external gas barbecue point tow bar with electrics so looking at that at the minute that's only got a seven pin electric on there so it's really for a trailer or a bike trailer inside there you've got all your uh, external table leg and bits and bobs and then a bit further around to this side of the van you've got obviously the runner for the habitation slide door Nice big windows again, so it lets lots of light in. All of the windows are um, privacy tinted out from the inside, and they've got blackout blinds and fly nets on the inside as well. Just above the habitation door, you've got that nice big LED strip light, and you've got the wind out awning canopy. And when you open this up, you've got fly screen, external LED strip light, worktop extension just there. So that goes all the way up, and then you've got the bin at the bottom. And you've also got another three pin external power socket so you can plug an extension lead into there and that'll run outside and the electric step into the cab down at the front we've got the xzen upgraded head unit and a uh, sat nav reverse camera that's all built into the media center uh, cruise control um, on all the controls for the media center and the dab radio and everything are all on the steering wheel so that's on there as well and you can see there's the nine speed automatic gearbox cab blinds here across the windscreen driver's door and passenger door so it's nice and private and being a 6.36 meter long van you get this additional little storage cupboard just behind the driver's seat and an additional three pin socket little cupboard to the top there and you've got some fridge vent covers in there as well hangings just here which have been put on by the previous owner and then just above the habitation door you've got the control panel for the 12 volt and the control panel for the heating and hot water so that's all on there microwave in the kitchen area and then this nice side sink lots of storage underneath and then a little bit further back just to this side you've got that nice size toilet and shower wet room uh, and it's the fold down sink i think in yeah. this one yeah and then you've got the uh, nice vanity mirror cupboard unit in there as well just a little bit further along towards the rear of the van you've got this high level storage cupboard and then you've got the leg for the inside table uh, which is just there so there's a little port in the floor here so that can go in there which will turn your lounge into a nice little dinette and then underneath there we've got a three-way fridge freezer so the nice thing about this van is with the spec it's got it's also got a solar panel on the roof so the solar panel will keep the 12 volt battery topped up keep the 12 volt system working nicely and if you went and did any wild camping the heat in the hot water and the fridge and the oven and grill and the hob will all run off the gas so you can be self-maintained for three or four days quite comfortably television to the rear so that's by avtex that's been left in it will stay with the vehicle as well all these storage cupboards right the way around the top of the van so there is your controller for the solar panel and if you can just see this little sticker there so this switch when that's up to the top it means it's charging the vehicle battery off the solar panel when you put it down to the bottom it means it's charging the leisure battery so you can pick and choose which way you want it to charge and then we've got all these really good sized storage lockers right the way around and then we've got the fly screens and the blackout blinds that we've already talked about plenty of storage underneath these as well and you've got to remember from outside you've got that nice size storage locker and then we've got the three ring gas hob back into the kitchen and you've got the oven and grill combi 
Uh, it's three and a half ton, so it can be driven on a standard car license. Yeah. It's a two traveler, two sleeper, lots and lots of space. Really good practicality with a van like this size as well, because you can go anywhere in it. Um, and they're super fun. Not as much planning needed as a full size, big, massive motorhome. Um, but they're just ready for made for a couple that want to go on an adventure. Um, it's in stock, it's available to view if you'd like any more information regarding this vehicle. We do have a lot of van conversions in for sale at the minute. My name's Mark, feel free to give us a call anytime. See you soon.